Well, that's us just left Barlock Station. This is my first serious walk for about a year. We're going to try Stony Mullen. Friday the 5th of January. It's pretty mild for the time of the year. It's about eight miles. Get us into Helmsborough. The time is six minutes past nine. We'll see what time we get there at. After leaving the station, you're coming up to the roundabout and you're going up to the right. And then there's a wee cut that takes you up on East Stirling and Stony Mullen Road. It's a lovely morning. I think it's going to be quite bright and sunny, although a bit cool. And that down there takes you down to the Roman Shores. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a wee signpost for Stony Mullen, Cardus. This is a wee road now, it takes us up to the the wee walk over the bridge, then it's a wee bit of a climb for maybe half an hour to get us up to the top of the Stony Mullen. Well, that's the first wee part done. That's us at the, the wee flyover bridge walkway. Uh, I don't know if I said it beginning, this is part of the Three Locks Way and the John Muir Way. The walks. There are two exits, one takes you into Helmsborough. And the John Muir Way takes you down to Sinclair Street. I think that's actually the beginning of the John Muir Way. So this stretch we're doing, we're doing in reverse. As I said, it's about eight miles. It should take me hopefully about four hours. There you are, that's a road up north. Takes up by a list with the way up the loch. I don't know if you can make that out, but that's the signs for the three locks way in the John Muir way. That's for first views of the loch as we get higher. This wee GoPro will give you a good view of it. It's low cloud. A wee drop of snow in the bend. Loving Shores Road there just to our right. And then that's Bitterock Shoreline. That's us at the gate now. Taking it off the Tarmac Road. Map my walk has told me it's just over a mile. So that's the Ballock Station to here. You're just over a mile and it's taken me 25 minutes. As you can see, the path's a lot more challenging. And this is a busy walk in the summer. You've got mountain bikers, people jogging it, and walkers. So it does cut up if the weather's not been good. There they are, the sun's beginning to rise. A bit more light, that's just where we've come from. Again, the sunlight makes it all that more spectacular. It's, it's only a wee path in trees. It's still quite picturesque. There you are, we're certainly a lot higher up now. A better view of the loch. I don't know if again the camera's picking up, but there's Inchburn. I think it's Inchburn, Tor Inch, Cree Inch, and Inch Kyloch. The clouds are still low, and there they bear me a wee spot of the snow on it. Well, we've made it. Still under two miles. There's a coffin stone there, and that's the way we're going. Well, we've made it to the coffin stone. That was quite a good walk, quite a nice walk. That's the first part. It was pretty hilly here, it flattens out, and there's a wee climb as you go over to the Forests over there, but it's been lovely. A wee bit cooler up here. See another couple coming with their dogs. There they are, there the signpost for Helensbrook. The John Muir Way and the Three Locks Way. I don't know if you can still walk down that way. It used to take you into Cardiff many moons ago. Uh, 
I see the forest there up, I think. The last time I was up here, I was getting used as a wee quarry. They were doing a bit of work. Just up ahead, I imagine it's must be finished. And there's where we're going, where the trees have been cleared. That was about two years ago. I don't know if they've replanted. Because they don't waste much time in getting young trees back in. This is where the, the road splits. Going left, that takes you into Cardus. And there's two ways, either uh, two exits, one at the Red Road, and the one that takes you into Cardus is a sale by St Mayhew's. And this one is the one we're taking. And that's going to take us into Hillsborough. Still got a couple of hours ahead of me. That's where we've been. And that's where we're going. Pretty steep, pretty dark, quite thick. Well, that's us through the woods. There's a bear shit in the woods. It wasn't too bad, quite steep, but not too long. And there you are. Is that a wee naughty job? A wee revenge job? A wee insurance job? Don't know, never will. Right, a wee climb up here, then it flattens out, and then that's the, the kind of series climbing finished. The road splits here, and I think the last time I went that way, and I got so far, and it was a dead end, I had to come back. This is us on the way down now, but that's us looking again at Inchmurn from the west, looking over to the east. And there's a the bend, that's north, still a bit of cloud, still no any wind. Again, that's us looking down to Glen Thrun, Glen Finlass, and there's just wee bits of the river Thrun that you can see if you know what you're looking for. This is it all downhill now. That's us almost at the road. That's the last wee signpost for the John Muir Way. And it's get to the road, we turn left and into Hillsborough. Well that's me just approaching the gate and my wee map why my walk up has just told me that's five miles. So I might have been right after all. So memory serves me right, it's two miles for the road into Hillsborough, Sinclair Street. Well there you are, there's a the car park. I take it that's people that's only doing a wee party up and down, not all the way over to Bala. As well on the way now, going over the Black Hill, I think maybe about half an hour she'd see us in Helmsborough. Still very enjoyable, very pleasant. This part of the road is a wee bit undulating, so you're up and down and you're well out in the countryside, I can hear the pheasants, although I can't see them. This is part of the John Muir Way as well. You can walk up here for Helmsborough. That takes you through to Gaelic Head. I think that's about 12, mile, 12 miles. 
I don't know the reason, the reason why the road ahead is closed. That's through Glen Fruin and then up onto the military road. It also takes you right up to Arica as well, which is about, I think it's either 12 or 14 miles. So there's plenty of walking if you so choose. Right, that's me just heading down Sinclair Street. I'm going to finish the video here. I think we are about eight miles. I think maybe what's happened is when I've been stopping, pausing the app, I've lost some distance before I've put it back on. <coughs> so I reckon that is about eight miles for Bala, down into Sinclair Street and right into the station bar.